Whoa! It's the illusion. Reported from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm at the headquarters tonight. I'm up late. Feeling pretty good. It's the year of the positive vibe. Hope you guys are experiencing a positive reality out there. I know it's tough sometimes, peeps. We all go through our uh, ebbs and flows of lives. But uh, every now and then, man, we just got to take it on the chin. It's part of the gig. So um, I took one on the chin here in the last 24 hours. Yeah. Didn't see it coming. Full cold cock from my, my blind side. Got me pretty good, dude. Kind of didn't quite knock me out, but it, uh, it stunned me. So uh, what it was was I was interacting with this being that uh, I thought was a high-frequency being, right? They, they spoke the language of the high-frequency being. They had surrounded themselves with the uh, stuff of a high-frequency being. And yet, when I entered the exchange with this high frequency being that's con called conversation sometimes, I was misled and duped. Now, I can read people pretty good, but I'm also, I also want to believe people too. You know, the last thing a guy like me wants to do is spend my life trying to figure out who's lying and who's not lying. I, I just don't care, man. If you're going to waste your energy telling me some bullshit story, go right ahead, man. I don't really care. But don't expect me to like, I, don't expect me to buy your story either. So anyway, part of like who I am is I'm like a sponge. I just sit and listen to people and put all their data in my brain and just keep collecting data and eventually my brain on its own will just, the bullshit meter will go off. Ding, 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 ding. So I'm with this high frequency being and they shock me first. Like they just shock me by, by doing something that I realized might possibly be the most dangerous phenomenon in modern society is people that are fully asleep masquerading as people who are awake. I didn't even think it was really possible. Like I'm fully aware of like snake oil salesmen and fake spiritual leaders and yoga teachers who are in it for nothing more than to bang yoga students like I get all that, but I really wasn't aware of the fact that people who are asleep could pretend to be awake, but I ran into one. And the minute I ran into one, I realized they're everywhere all of a sudden. And what do I mean by somebody who's asleep yet appears to be awake and spiritually fit? is this. A spiritually fit person from my novice understanding of spiritual fitness is someone who's attained personal sovereignty over themselves, who has made contact with source energy, who is living in an energy field of abundance, who is giving their energy to other beings to elevate their energy so that we can all share in the abundance of the universal energy field, that we can try to alleviate mankind of the concept of lack. Because there is no lack if you're a beam of light. Anyway, people think that being spiritually fit and awake is essentially like, it's like a new trend, I guess. It's not even a new trend. It's, I guess it's a common human scam. But if you're awake, all right, if you're awake, you're, are, are, your mind is active and you're not buying everything you're hearing. 
that you are actually still cognitively thinking. That you're like, okay, yeah, that guy's got a lot of good information. A lot of good information coming in there, but he's still a human being, so some of it's going to be bullshit on a certain level. Like me, man, like, I'm just a dude. I got some good ideas, I got some far out thoughts, but I'm still a dude full of flaws. So if you were to think that I'm like perfect, that's a mistake. And I try to keep that clear. A dude doing the best I can. But these awake people who are asleep think that they're awake enough to tell you you're asleep. It's, I know it is like this vacuum cleaner eating itself. So I'm talking to this person. We're talking about the energy field and the flow and contact with source and the whole thing. And all of a sudden this person starts talking about how a certain segment of our society deserves to have a shitty experience. That it's their fault that their life is, is trapped in this less than reality. And I'm like, whoa, everyone has a choice. You're right about that. But to hold them down, to force them to stay in that place of lack, that's not spiritually fit on any level person. That is wrong on, on so many levels. And I want it to be clear, man, I'm not a socialist or a communist. I'm a sovereignty guy. I believe in personal sovereignty. And I believe that everybody has the right to find their own personal sovereignty. And it's our duty as people who have woken up, found sovereignty and spiritual connectedness to share that message with anybody who wants it so that they can raise their frequency up and then they can pass it on to the next group of people and we can all just keep raising our frequency up and have a big high frequency party, right? Not this person. This person was all about these people deserve to be fucked. And I was like, whoa, why do they deserve to be fucked? Because you're not? Because you have everything? And then, I, then it, it hit me that this person was closed-minded, that this person was so set in their spiritual enlightenment that they had shut down their mind and that they had actually become everything they were trying not to be. And I've been that, dude, I have been that being in my life. So I know what it is. I know what I'm looking at, but I was never, I don't know, can't say never, right? So this person threw me off. I was like, whoa, like, huh? Because I haven't bumped into any, dude, I haven't bumped into anyone pretending to be high frequency who's secretly low frequency. It's it's not what a narcissist normally do, does, does, does. And so all of a sudden I realized I, this is a plague. These, this is this new sort of army of people that are coming to disrupt the high frequency party and drag us down. And we got to be aware of them because I didn't, I wasn't aware of them until yesterday and today. And how do we know who they are? Just throw them a curveball idea, right? Throw them an idea that is contradictory to the high frequency way. And not something stupid. What I'm saying is is an articulate conversation piece that runs contrary to the high frequency way and see what they do. Because a high-frequency being won't deny the validity of that thought. They'll actually give it some space to let it 
coalesce in their mind and they will explain to you why that might not be the best reality. And then there you will have an enlightened conversation that will expand both parties' minds. But if they can't do that and they tell you no and it's going to be this way or the highway, you know that they're not high frequency. Anybody who is so stuck in the singularity of thought to deny new information is dangerous in my book. And I didn't realize how dangerous they were until yesterday and today interacting with this person. Because this person is so close-minded in their spiritual fitness that they would actually deny people the ability to raise their energy field. That they're the people that think that only organic food is for them. They're the people that think that only alternative energies are for them. They are people who claim to be spiritually fit, but secretly believe that there deserves to be a slave class of human beings on this planet. I've read about them, I've heard about them, but I've never actually bumped into one of these left-wing liberal lunatics, man, that are really socialist murderers. I know, dude, it's so heavy, man. I was shocked. I was shocked I had written this being into my script. And I realized why. Because they're the new invading army to disrupt what we're doing here as the high frequency tribe. Because, and this is the whammy with them, because they are so set in this singularity of thought that they've achieved spiritual enlightenment, there's nothing you can do for them. It's bizarre. Like when I was trying to explain to this person, I could see their mind shutting down and I was just like, wow, you actually believe the bullshit you're pumping. Look, I believe the bullshit I'm pumping, but I know that on a certain level, there's a lot of bullshit in there. Like, so I don't take myself too seriously. I'm just a dude winging it, man. I'm winging it. This person, this person isn't winging it. They believe it. They believe it to the point that they're dangerous. And it's alarming. Because I didn't know somebody so intelligent could be so ignorant. It was weird. And I don't mean like book smarts, intelligence. I mean have so much data about the source and the spacesuit thing. And then to actually be the enemy. No, there, are, there aren't really any enemies, but... I don't know. Did you get that? I can't even, I, this is the third, I don't really redo videos a lot. This is the third, fourth one of these I've made to try to, to get this out. Cause it shocked me. This being shocked me. And, and to wrap it up is, you know, when you're driving down the highway and you think about a certain kind of car, like, I don't know, red Camaro, right? And then everywhere you go for the next like four days, there's red Camaros everywhere. This being making herself prevalent on my screen made me aware of how many of these people are infiltrated into the elevated reality out there, that they're charlatans. I mean, I guess it's a historical thing that's been going on all along. I just, I just didn't know that they, could, that someone asleep could appear to be awake. That's, it's a good disguise, man. 
I didn't know you could do it. I thought, I thought we, I thought that we had this one figured out, but we don't, man. They're they're up in their game. They're like a, like a, uh, like a, a virus that gets used to the antibiotics and becomes stronger. So, the dark force. We know they're there. And anytime anyone is telling you that someone deserves to be less than, that is your clue. They're not living in a world of abundance because everybody deserves to live in a world of abundance or a mental space of abundance. I don't know. We'll see if this one actually makes it up onto the thing. I think I got to just run with it. Just run with it. Just run, run, run. Anyway, dude, I'm fired up. I learned something about humanity today. And you know what I learned today? I'm doing pretty good because I can see through their bullshit.